Hey internet, it's me. And I smell like steak. Um, so we watched another movie, Final Destination 2. And now, obviously, there's the one thing that everyone knows about this movie, and that's the car crash with the logs. Uh, but I have to say, after watching the movie again, which this is probably the first time I've seen it since it came out, this was even better than the first one. I really like this one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think all the kills were very just, like, graphic and intense, but also just well choreographed. I mean, that initial car crash, 10 out of 10, just amazing scene. But even a lot of the other stuff just, I don't know, it all felt more fun than the first movie. And, like, the plot wasn't as much a mystery, because you knew, like, after seeing the first one, if you saw the second one, you, you basically know what's going to happen. It's following the same pattern, basically. But it just, I don't know. It just, this felt more enjoyable to watch for me. Like, this was just more of a fun ride. Plus, Candyman showed up again, Tony Todd, and I freaking love that guy. Like, he just, he has such charisma on camera. Like, even in such a minor role, he's just... A blast. But yeah, I really enjoyed that movie. Okay. Okay. Um, here's my thing. The first movie didn't have any premonitions other than the first one. Mm -hmm. So why was she getting a whole bunch this time? Yeah. That kind of made it feel like a cop-out to me. Like they made it too easy. Mm -hmm. Like the first one was he had to be smart and come up with a list and the order and yeah. figure it all out. This time all she had to do was follow her premonitions and be like, Let's try. It, was, it, just, it just seemed cheaper. It seemed lazier to me. The kills were cool to look at, but they were 90% of them were all caused by humans being dumb. Yes. In the first one, everything was. Shit just went batshit. In this one, humans instigated 90% of what happened to the chain reaction, like the van yeah. backing up into the rock, which led to the thing, or like them driving too fast, which caused the tire to go out, or mm -hmm. everybody in that first, in the first car wreck, everyone the was just... The firefighter with the jaws of life, the creepy guy in the elevator. No, and then in the very, in the very first movie, like when the, oh, when the, yeah. when the, when the semi-truck came and hit the red SUV, mm -hmm. that was just a bad driver, human error. 90% of what was in this movie was just human error yeah. instead of death. Mm -hmm. doing something cool. So it took away from it for me, but all the kills looked cool. Yeah, the cinematography of this movie is easily better. Like, there were just... All those kills looked amazing, and even just some of the other scenes, just... I don't know, everything was just really fun to look at. Like, I know even you mentioned, as it was happening, the explosion with uh, the first guy there. Uh, it's not even the part that killed him, but just the way they blew out the windows. It was practical. Like, it was a real explosion. Like, that mm -hmm. looked good. Yes. A lot of it just, it looked really good. And that was cool, too. There was, I feel like, a lot of stuff happened in camera. Like, a lot of, like, the crash choreography and everything. Like, they, you know, they were doing a lot of cutting, because you can't have any scene as a one-er. Um, but, like, a lot of it was still in camera. I feel like there wasn't too much CG. I feel a lot of... The car if there crashes, was CG, they I didn't even notice. Smashed it. up some cars. Yeah, if there was like, CG, I didn't notice it. I can't think yeah. of a like when the barbed wire trisected the guy. That was some CG. But I don't know. Was it ninety percent of it was just? I think it was actually really them good. doing it, and they just cut a mannequin. I mean, that could be too. That looked legit. And yeah, like the just... only thing that I guess, I guess the blast <laughs> from the van shooting the fence post. That fence post blowing mm. off was CG, but to me, when the when they showed the fence post cutting the guy, that looked like a mannequin. Yeah, it it may well have been. So they did it really well, you know. They did a lot of it. Clever use of great. Clever use of you know actual props versus CG. Yeah, it was great that way. But yeah, the story was a little lackluster for me. I didn't like the premonitions. I didn't like the fact that it was less death and more just humans being dumb that death used. Mm -hmm. Now, so, I still... I, well, I know you mentioned, like, the overall story of the death thing is still a little weird. Because, like, like you said when we were watching it, is death the one giving them the premonition? Right. Or, like, 
Like, they don't explain why some people are, are all of a sudden just clairvoyant and have these premonitions. Right. And, like, why is it picking the people it's picking? Like, I wish they explained that more. And, I mean, right. they might. There's three more movies. But I'm just, I'm curious how that comes to be. Like, it's just something they kind of leave up to interpretation. They don't really explain it. It's just like, yeah, this person has visions. Because in the first one, Alex had them, and then Clear had some sort of semi-vision type stuff, too. Or, like, they would get at least, like, a clue. Like, when he got the piece of paper that said Todd on it. Yes, or like that was cool. Or, like, little things like that. Like, that was cool. Like, they did that in this one, where the magnets fell off the fridge, and said it said, hey, E, it said I. And so, we like, yeah, yeah like, it And then he got eye. it in his eye. Yeah. So there was things like that, but it wasn't death pointing it out to someone. It was just like an Easter egg in the background yeah. that you haven't noticed. Yeah. But yeah, so it would be nice if they explained that. But I don't know. Otherwise, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm just it's still fun. a good movie. It's still a fun franchise. I'm giving tonight's movie a 7, whereas yesterday I gave it an 8. No, for me, this one still definitely an 8. Yes. Yeah. A lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I don't think it was a step down at all. Like, I just... I don't know. A lot of the deaths were more contrived. Like, especially the one with the firefighter, where, like, he even makes the snarky comment first, and then he jams the jaws of life. No firefighter day. would ever do that. No, They did. They no. would be fired. And... Oh, yeah. He he has no job and no life anymore. Like, he's going right. to jail for that. He murdered her. Right. But, like... And the, the firefighter wouldn't be stupid enough to leave that pointy bit there. In the no, first place. they like, no. all right, let me cut this off from behind you, yeah. and then we'll get you out. They would also probably disable the airbag before impacting probably, the car. Probably, yes. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Overall, I thought all the kills were still really fun. Yeah. I thought the adventure was just a good time. Yeah. Uh, that one moment <laughs> with the, uh, the junkie there, who he's like, hey, you know, take my keys, go get rid of everything so it doesn't break my mom's heart. Like, that was a sweet little moment. Like, I don't know. I still enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. So, for me, definitely still an 8. As he does cocaine right after. Yeah, but, you know, I didn't say he was smart. I said it was sweet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I think it was a fun fun movie. It was. No, it's... it was definitely fun. I just think that it was a little bit lazier writing with the premonitions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, death not being as clever. I'll be curious to see where it goes. Especially because, like I said, we know there's three more movies. So I'm curious to see how... Is it a five-movie franchise or four-movie? Five. Is it five? And I'm curious to see, like, can they keep can they keep the deaths as elaborate? Because a lot of times you get fake-outs on them, too. Like, the first thing you see that could kill someone isn't what kills them. Right. There's always, like, this Rube Goldberg chain reaction of things that happen. Right. It's always fun. Like, when that van crashed, you know, the van almost hits the kid, but then doesn't. And instead, it crashes, and then the gas leaks... And then the cigarette, you know, does the thing, and then it rolls in and ignites the gas. Oh, sure. And then that explodes the fence, and it goes over the guy who ducked, and then gets the other guy. Like, mm -hmm. there's this whole big thing. Oh, yeah, that's great. And so, like, I'm curious to see if they can keep that going through three more films. Like, if it can keep being as elaborate and as much of a spectacle. I hope so. Because I have not seen the other three. I remembered... About half the first movie, the only thing I remembered in the second movie is the highway scene that everyone remembers, which still, that scene is 10 out of 10. Here's a, here's that a is question. so intense. Now, here's a question. It's a cool scene, but does it take away from it the fact that it's only premonition and doesn't actually happen? No. No. Still <laughs> awesome. Plus, it does happen just to other people. Because, like, once they dodge, you see... You hear the explosion, you hear all the other trucks crashing, and they say... That's true. 18 people died, it was a big pile-up, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. It still happened, just not to those specific folks. I guess so, yeah. But the way they choreographed and shot that scene was incredible. Oh, yeah. No that, oh, that is so good. Yeah. I mean, I still don't drive behind people with unsecured loads oh, because yeah, of that. Oh, yeah, it freaks like, me out all the time. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. That was a very good movie. I, I am definitely still a fan. Yeah. I just don't want Raiders to take cheap way out. I mean, yeah, it's always nice when they can... Stay clever. Come on, people. It's funny, Try though, hard. we say that, but in both of these movies now, we found at least one kill that was impossible because of continuity That's error. true. Because That's in true. the first one, there was the bus that killed Terry, and it came from an impossible place. And then in this one, that car crash never should have happened because the truck... Well, the crash should have happened. The friends shouldn't have died because the, the truck SUV that hit them squished, yeah. went right through where the cement barriers, barriers were. were. So, yeah. Both times they had a major continuity error. Right. But we'll see. I don't know. 
we'll uh, keep watching. It's still a fun franchise, yeah? Yeah, no yeah complaints. I'm, I'm loving it, and I'm excited for the other three. Yep. So okay. we'll be back tomorrow, and we'll do the next one. Mm-hmm. See ya.